Yeah, fellow countrymen and women, I'm here to address you once again in the course of our nation history and to react specifically to Kayamo's myopic, porous, parochial, and intellectually stagnant interview on Channels TV. I mean, that is shameful, very, very embarrassing, and a disgrace to his children because um, a man like Kayamo will open his gutters and talk to the former Vice President of the Republic of Nigeria, one single Nigerian with multiple competencies, a man indoctrinated with the act of civil administration and the rudiment of politics, Alaji Atiku Abubakar. Kayamo's inactive ministerial sojourn is um, affecting his mendula on Blangata because if he has succeeded as a minister, um, he won't be talking the way um, he's talking. Ask Nigerians today, what portfolio is Kayamo holding? Many Nigerians will tell you we don't even know the ministry where Kayamo is working because he's redundant, he's inactive, he is not visible, and he has been completely consumed by the aura of Ngigi, a superior minister. And because he has failed as a minister, because he's inactive as a minister, because he is not visible as a minister, because he's not known <laughs> as a minister, he is mistaking his redundant office of Minister of State, understand, for the office of the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. No Nigerian who is educated, who is intellectually okay, who is mentally fit, will insult the office of or the, 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 I mean, the, um, abuse the office of the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Because what he has attacked is not Atiku Abubakar is the office of the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria that is a constitutional office and number two office in this country. Because Kayamo is a commercialized conscience, because he has monetized his life, that is why he will not understand that the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria has some ministries, agencies, and parasitals of government under his direct supervision um, and overview, and, 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 and oversight. That is why he will not know that the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria presides over the Federal Executive Council meetings in the absence of the President. That is why he will not know that in the absence of the President, the Vice President actually is the acting President with executive powers any time the President is not in the country. So what he has done is that he has abused the office of the Vice President of Nigeria as a lawyer who understands the constitutionality of that office, who understands the enormous responsibilities of that office. Anyone who is a vice president is fit to be a president. And again, will Kayamo now say that he's also writing off the business success or the success of Atiku Abubakar in the corporate world? Will Kayamo also say that Atiku have not succeeded internationally as a businessman? Will Kayamo now say that the experience of Atiku in the manufacturing sector in the banking sector, in logistics, in humanities, in banking, in, um, 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 in, in, in I mean, in, in aviation. What, what, what sector has Atiku not succeeded? A vice president, after 20 years, understand, uh, 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 who left office in 2007, is still moving like a sitting vice president. All his staff intact till today. A man with such phenomenal capacity with corporate experience you just want to sit down because either you are acting under sekwe or you are acting under the influence of uh, marijuana you just smoke your danger weed and you think you open your mouth and talk because you are defending a man who takes more drugs than food today it is unfortunate that Keyamo, who i question is senior advocate of nigeria because nobody who was properly taught who, who is properly brought up, will sit down and regain the office of the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and even a lawyer for that matter. It's a shame, Kayamo, and I'm challenging you to a debate. You are just talking babbledash. You are talking rubbish. But I want to assure you that Nigerians know who you are. Nigerians know that you are a commercialized character. You are a third politician. You have never won, a, Kayamo never won election, even in the primaries not to talk of a general election. You have never won an election in your life. You have never been a councillor. You have never been a member of the House of Assembly. You have never, you don't even understand the rudiments of um, politics and democracy. So you are unfit, incompetent, 
to discuss democracy, politics, not to talk of our highly respected Atiku Abubakar. But this is not a day to talk. I challenge you to a debate. And when we sit down, then I will break you like this, break you into pieces. Unfortunately, um, um, I'm doing this over uh, social media, but I wait for an invitation by Shehu or any other platform to sit down with you so that I will expose your ignorance and I will expose you to Nigerians and know how empty you are. Very, very, very unfortunate. Whether you like it or not, you cannot take the credit, the experience of Atiku Abubakar away from him. Even you say Atiku Abubakar have no experience. Atiku Abubakar is running for the presidency, not for the second time or third time. So he understands his roots better than the political virgin, Tinubu, that you are supporting, who is running for presidency for the first time and sees it as his life entitlement and sees it as his retirement benefits for supporting uh, uh, Buhari. But Atiku is running on his credentials. He's not running because of entitlement. He's not running because of his support for any party. He's running because he's got the credentials. And he is a team player. He is a talent hunter. He is a leader by excellence. He, 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 he has the rudiment of civil administration and the rudiment of politics. And I want to tell you, Kayamo, enough is enough. If not, that junk way say go mature. Now there we will eat you.